let's turn this thing on my e-bike has a new problem and this is the problem so it has an error 09 on the LCD screen and it says that the controller is having problem Oh, what a bad news. I just happened to uh, see this one, one while I was driving. And the only thing that I could notice is that the motor turns really, really hard. It seems that something is holding me back. So I already tried to check the cables and still the error is still there. So I think the problem really is the controller itself. So let's try to check this one out and see if we could figure what's wrong with this controller. Okay, so we have already disassembled the controller, which is this the case, and this is the inside part of the controller. See? So the controller has 12 MOSFETs on it, two in each of the face wires. So this one is the yellow, green, and the blue. So in order to check if which of these MOSFETs are shorted out, we need a multi-tester and put it in continuity mode to test out any short of the MOSFETs. So to test the MOSFET, we will test it from uh, the negative uh, battery terminal towards each of the uh, face wires. Okay? So negative, let's double check first. Okay? So it's in uh, continuity mode. So let's try first. Uh, on the yellow uh, face wire and see if this one is shorted also so there's no short in here okay okay this one is shorted out also this one the next one is good Next is good. Another one is good. 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 And the rest are all okay except for uh, one of the pair on the yellow uh, face wire. This one here. So the neg this is I think the negative uh, MOSFET here as this one is the positive MOSFET. So check here. Okay, so this one is the positive MOSFET, but still, even if put it in positive, it will be shorted out still. So, negative MOSFET, pos positive MOSFET, negative, positive MOSFET, negative positive MOSFET okay. so this one right here is our 
suspect uh, MOSFET as this one is the one shorted out with respect to ground so as we flip this one on the other side so let's check here on the two MOSFETs by shorting it out by testing a shortage in between the legs of the MOSFET okay. so this, this one here so this one is shorted out also shorted out this one is also shorted unlike the rest of the MOSFETs it doesn't short out here okay so these uh, two MOSFETs here are our suspect so let's try to change this one and hopefully we'll be able to solve the problem if not then we'll be needing a new controller for the e-bike okay so we'll try to remove this uh, MOSFETs here and replace it with the new one okay okay so let me just uh, Get the soldering iron so that we can remove and check the part number for this one. So this is now the MOSFET that is being shorted out. So we'll just place here somewhere the model number and we'll try to find here at our local shop if we could buy this thing out. If not then we'll have to order online. So the MOSFET that we ordered from Shopee online already came and this is how the packaging looks like. They are 10 pieces and cost around 300 pesos for 10 of them. Okay, so let's try to remove this one. So for this one we'll be needing only two. Okay, here. Let's check them out first and test. Okay, so using the tester, we'll check if there are shortage for this one. Okay, 
okay so it's good so it's time to solder this one in here so to install the MOSFET we need to remove screws and install in them Okay, so now that they're in, it's time to solder on the other side. Okay, we'll try to put a little bit of the flux on the solder. Okay, so we're now done soldering the MOSFET, so it's time to check for short. Okay. So we're now done with installing the new MOSFET, so it's time to test it out in the e-bike. And let's see if error is still there. Okay, so time to test out the controller. So we have already here the new MOSFET soldered out here at the back. So hopefully we could test this one by testing out the throttle here. So we have already connected the power supply to the battery the display and the connection towards the motor here and let's turn this thing on okay so far no more zero zero nine zero zero nine is already gone okay. let's see Bell assist up to 5 Okay, so let's check if the throttle works Here I think we need to lift this one first Yes, so the throttle did work. Shut it out again. Okay, so with this one, we have successfully repaired the Error 09, which is the busted MOSFET, on the controller itself. Ooh, so we've only cost around 300 pesos. Okay. So let's assemble the whole thing first and have it on a test drive. Okay.
Okay, so we have already rewired everything and put it back to its normal position after replacing the bad MOSFET on this controller. So let's try to turn it on once again. Okay, no more error 09. So let's try if the pedal assist works by pedaling on the cranks. Nice, it's now working. <coughs> okay, so we have successfully repaired the error 09 on this controller, and hopefully, this won't burn out anymore. The MOSFET. So even though if the MOSFET fails again, we still have an available 8 pieces of MOSFET that we can replace by the time it gets burned up or shorted out again. Okay? So if you think that this video is helpful for you, then just give it a like and share it with your friends. See you in the next one!